Hey there guys, welcome to today's How to Draw Soccer Badges tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be drawing the Real Madrid badge. I'm using my Sharpie pen here. I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to move the paper slightly whilst drawing this circle. Just so that I can get the circle as accurate as, as possible. Uh, these Sharpie pens do tend to bleed into the paper so make sure that you are keeping this pen moving as, as fluently and as freely as you can just to avoid any unwanted patches on the paper, any splodges of ink. Now if I wanted to do this absolutely perfect I'd probably use a compass or I'd draw around something to get this absolutely perfect but as it goes, I'm not too bad at doing freehand circles. So we've got another, we've got another circle that's going to come in in between or inside this one here. So I'm just marking out a couple of points there, just so that I keep it the same, the same thickness throughout, so that we're not getting an irregular size. Uh, to this edge or this rim, whatever you want to call it. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, thank you very much for watching. Go and subscribe, hit the notifications button, uh, and that way you'll be kept up to date with everything that I'm doing. I'm doing daily videos at the minute. So uh, this is my series of uh, football and soccer badges, which has been really enjoyable. Uh, I did my last one was the Liverpool badge. That was really really difficult. That was. That was very complicated, a, a lot of detail in there. Uh, so go and watch that, That's, uh, that turned out really well. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, I've also done some cartoon work, so some Pokemon, things like that. Okay, so we're gonna find a midpoint now, so about halfway in the circle and about two thirds of the way up. I'm just gonna put a dot and one below it, okay. So what we have here now is we have a V shape coming up there and that's got a rounded top to it. And then underneath, I'm going to come up level almost with this. So another V shape. And then a curved line down and that's squared off at the end there. Now, this line comes out, so it's a continuation of this line. And now we're going to find a point there and a point there. This is rounded off at the top now. And then we're going to do the same as what we've done on this side. Okay. So what we have now is another circle, a smaller circle that's coming around, or oh, it's, it's, it's almost a full circle, it, it's broken around the bottom here uh, by another letter, it looks like an F to me, so we're going to continue this line around here. And stop there. So it looks to me as though we've got the, the letter F. I'm not 100% sure what this stands for. Uh, I'm not a Real Madrid fan. So if there's any of you out there that are, and you, you know what this means, why there's the letter F in the center of this, I'd love to know. So drop me a comment or get hold of me on Facebook or Instagram or the website, which is ihowtodraw.com. That's the letter I. Uh, and this line's curved up and around here now. So it looks like we've got a C in the centre. And then this letter F, which continues down below. Okay, so we've got two arms that come around now, so two 
semicircular shaped arms that come down and around. They don't meet at the bottom, they come to about four o'clock if this was a clock face. They come into about four o'clock on the clock face. And this one comes down and around, I'm not touching the circle on the inside there. And we're going to do the same on this side. So a nice smooth swooping line coming down and around. Okay, what we now have is we have a diagonal line coming down and through all the way to the bottom and it comes down to here. So this is all blocked out black uh, and I'll do that towards the end, I'll time lapse that. Uh, what we've got now is we've got a crown on the top, so there's a, uh, there's a curved line coming across here, down and round, and some detail coming in. I'm going to turn the page around just to allow me to use my best stroke. So what we have now is we have, I guess these are some sort of jewels, two jewels that are in the crown, some circular shapes, some diamond shapes that are coming across this ridge, there and there. And then we have the crown which comes right up to the top. So I'm going to find the midpoint here and here. These come. There's a, an odd shape in the centre there, which now comes up and around. And up and joins back up at the top. So we're going to mirror this again now. So if I come around here, in, up and around through to there so we have some details coming in there and there okay so this side, we're doing a very similar pattern. To what we had in the middle. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Excuse me. So we've got a, a cross on the top. And then coming down from here, we're going to have some, again, I guess they're jewels, jewels. And 
and then we've got the same coming up and around here. And the same here. And then we're just going to outline this with an edge. Semicircular lines. And this comes round and back in. Just one or two more details here. And then I'm just going to time lapse the rest where I'm just going to colour in this black portion in the centre. We're not too far away from completion. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.